Hey everyone, it's Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to pack for a vacation where you are carrying on every single bag because we all know how expensive those stupid, stupid, stupid checked bag fees are. They are ridiculous. And so this video is just filled with a lot of tips on how I kind of consolidate the things that I'm bringing, how I maximize the, the space that I have, um, and just kind of how I organize everything. And it also includes all the makeup that I'm bringing in my makeup bag um, and what parts of my makeup I have to put in the quart size bag and what parts that I don't because I did a lot of research on that to make sure that I knew. So hopefully this will be very helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I figured I would start first with the outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow. I always put it out to the side, whatever I'm going to be wearing um, to fly, just so I don't accidentally pack it and have to rummage through all my organization over there. So I always bring a some sort of fleece. I love my North Face, so I usually bring that, just because I always get cold in the airport and things like that. And it just, you know, it's just kind of cozy, especially if you're trying to nap, because you know I'm trying to nap. So that's like the best nap blanky ever except for it's not a blanket anyway um flip flops because it's easier to go through security and just flip flop them off and then flip flop them right back on instead of having to like tie shoes or undo straps things like that um I'm wearing like just a plain comfy v-neck from Target that I love and then capris again because I get cold if I were to wear shorts I would be freezing the whole time and we have a pretty long layover um so, yeah, I'm just trying to be comfortable. Um, and I'm also wearing jewelry. I know a lot of people don't because, well, you ha you probably have to take it off for security. Um, and usually you do. Sometimes I've gotten away with not doing it. But I don't know. I just like wearing jewelry. Even I know it probably sounds silly, but that's one of those few things that I'm like, whatever, I'll take the time to take them off because I just like wearing jewelry. So that is that. So that's my outfit for tomorrow, and I've just got it set out to the side. So over here I've got um, – I'm carrying on both of these things um, this bag and this suitcase, and if you look at it, it's actually not that big, and it is carry-on size. I have this cute little luggage tag that I got from Disney World, um, oh, just love it, um, and I actually haven't utilized these because I haven't had a need, which is crazy, but I've, um, I think I've kind of perfected the way that I pack and how much I bring, so I actually didn't even need these, um, so, Let's go ahead and get started with the suitcase. The way I organize it, I have all my clothes on the side here, and they're all rolled up. And if you look um, down in the layers, you can see there's, like, uh, shorts down here. Let me go ahead and dig down in there, shall we? Um, I've got, like, some mint, some coral, some white shorts, some jean shorts. I've got dresses. I've got all my tops. Um, and I also have workout clothes and PJs back there. Um, and if you look a little deeper, you'll see. I'm just going to unpack, then repack. How about that? Um, I keep all of my shoes in um, these gallon size bags just to prevent dirt from getting on all of my other things. Um, so I have these sandals um, that kind of go with everything. They're great because they're silver and gold, so they really do go with like every outfit. I have my um, running shoes because we are planning on running there in the mornings, Tyler and I. So I have those with me. And usually I'll wear my bulkier shoes, but when it comes to flying, you know, it's just easier to slip those on and off. So I figured I would just pack them and bite the bullet. Um, and then I also have my heels that I am going to be wearing. And you'll be seeing these in a lot of Outfit of the Days on Instagram. Um, so, yeah. Let's just see. So those are all my clothes. Up here I have my undergarments. I keep them in these mesh bags. And I actually have an extra one down here I can show you. Um, just because w as I wear them, I can put them in here. And that way I know which ones I've worn and which ones I haven't. And I also have my swimsuit packed in there. And then I have some belts down there, two belts. And then this is my jewelry organizer. And um, this is a great thing to invest in. And actually, it's not even that big of an investment. They're not that expensive. But you can just keep your jewelry organized. And I'm sure it looks like a jumbled mess. But these are actually snapped in and they're tucked in. So it's my two more dainty necklaces are safely in there. All of my earrings. I know it looks like a mumbo jumbo. Ah, and one came off. But pretty much all of them are very secure. Perhaps maybe I'll move these hoops into a um, zipper pocket. So I'll have to look into that. But everything else seems to be pretty good, pretty... um securely in there. Um, and here I have a statement necklace kind of zipped in and then I have my bracelets hooked on through this. You unhook it, um, slide them in, and then you can snap it back so they're secure. I've got my watch, some hoops, some more um, bracelets, and actually I have every single outfit planned out down to um, the jewelry and shoes. So you'll see that. And then I have another statement necklace zipped into here. So that's all of that. And then you zip it up and it fits right in there. Um, and then I, ha I got this little, um, like, heat protector thing from uh, Marshalls, actually, and it's the Peter Coppola brand, I think. 
Yeah, actually, I just opened it. I bought it a while ago, but I haven't used it yet. Um, but it's just so cute, and it holds my curling wand that I have, and then I also have my round brush in there, and then you can even put it in it when it's hot, which is great, and then I also have my cord tucked into there, and I'm not bringing my straightener, and I'm also not bringing a hairdryer because I'm going to use the hairdryer there because why take up the extra space when they have a hairdryer there that works just fine. Um, so then I also bring my purse that I'm going to be carrying around. This is by Deluxe. Um, right, Jeff, you can get it. I don't know. Um, I love this bag. It's a um, longer strapped bag, if you know what I mean. And it's just great for travel, for walking around. I can fit enough in it, but it's not too heavy. Um, and then inside, I actually tucked in a wristlet for the nighttime. This I got at Target. It's just great because you can fit your cards. You kind of strap your phone in there, and then it snaps. It's really perfect for nighttime. This is perfect for daytime. Um, that way I'm not lugging a huge honking purse, but I just pack it instead of bringing it with me because I have all my purse items in my carry-on bag here. So for now, I just keep it packed away empty. Um, and then I had these two bags in here as well, so I'll go over this one. This one is the London Soho brand. Um, I love the stripes. It's so cute. I'm keeping my brushes, my makeup brushes there, my beauty blender, my razor, which I've learned for carrying on. You can bring, like, the disposable type razors, you know. Um, you are allowed to bring those. They are allowed. So that surprised me, and I was really excited about that. Um, so that's what I keep all up there. I have a brush organizer, but I'm bringing too many brushes. So I was like, you know what? This is just easier. This has a hanging thing, which I think is really neat. And then down here, you can zip up. And I've got my facial wipes, um, some eye makeup remover wipes, my deodorant, my toothbrush. Um, oh, my hair ties I'm keeping in this little thing that I got from my friend Amber. Um, it just holds your ponytails in it, and they don't go anywhere. It is really, really neat. Um, and then some bobby pins also held together um, with a hair tie. I also have my little um, band that I use to hold back my hair when I'm getting ready in the morning. Um, instead of bringing nail polish, I'm bringing nail polish remover pads just to get rid of that extra liquid. Um, same with this. Usually for my eye makeup remover, I have eye makeup remover liquid and cotton rounds. But instead, I'm just going to bring this because it's not a liquid, so I don't have to keep it that way. Um, so I really like that. So that's what's kind of packed in there. So this is the makeup bag, and everything in here is like everything that's not liquid. So I have my Uni palette, which has a lot of shadows in it, including my uh, brow powder, which is my main reason for bringing it. Um, I depotted some of my e.l.f. high-definition yellow powder into a smaller container, so it takes up less room. I'm bringing this uh, MAC Quad... Ah. Um, in Caramel Sunday. It's from the Archie Collection. I love these three shades. I use them all the time. Um, my hula bronzer, I'm bringing two bronzers, I know, um, if I can find, yeah, my Sonia Kashuk cream bronzer, I just love those in conjunction with each other. Uh, for highlight, I'm bringing MAC Soft and Gentle. Um, for my blush, I'm only bringing one, I'm bringing the Hot Mama blush by The Balm. Um, more shadow, I'm bringing this Sigma little trial thing for this middle shade. I use a lot in the crease that I love, it's kind of a gold shimmery, it's called Command. And I'm bringing... Of course, my concealer in 230, um, the CoverGirl and Olay one. The NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation that I love. Um, and then I brought two different lip colors. For daytime, I'm bringing the um, Revlon Balm Stain in Honey. And then for nighttime, I'm bringing the Sonia Kashuk Rosette lipstick. It's There's a swatch of it, actually. It's really, really pretty. Um, and then some liners that I brought, some Physician Formula ones, one that's just black and then also one that's like a bronzy color. And then my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere, which is just this really pretty um, kind of, I don't even know how to describe that color. It's really pretty. Hold on while I get the cat back on there. There we go. Um, my gel eyeliner um, is from L'Oreal, some chapstick that I always rip off the thing because I like don't know how to open it, I swear. Um, and is that all that's in here? Oh, and also my L'Oreal um, infallible liner in Ice Latte that I love. And then another Essence liner in Bling Bling that I love. So those are all the things that I didn't have to put in the quart size bag. Um, and then I'll just, I'll get that repacked in a sec. So... In this bag from Old Navy, which I recently hauled, is where I keep, it's basically what I'm going to be keeping with me. Everything is going with me, but you know what I mean. So I have, I love this outer pocket. I've got um, headphones, of course, um, some gum, a uh, snack. These are seriously good. The roasted almond is out of this friggin' world. It's like way sweeter than you would ever imagine. My Nivea lip butter, which now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I'll have to put this in a 
in the Ziploc bag. I'll probably switch that to that before I get on the flight or before I go through security. Okay, so in here I've got um, my sunglasses that I got from Shop Lately recently that I'm bringing along um, that I just love. Um, and then, let's see, um, my iPad, of course. And actually, I wanted to show you some of the things that I use when I am... Um, like, let me get it, like, facing upright. Some of the things that I use, I use this app called hmm, You Packing List Free, and you can do your lists, and, like, I've got carry-on and everything that I want to have in my carry-on. I'm sure it's blurry, but you don't really need to see exactly. Outfits, ideas that I had, um, suitcase, things that are going in my main suitcase, and then as you click it, it'll um, kind of check it off on the side. So it's pretty, really, really neat and really simple. Um, and then another thing I do, which you guys are probably going to laugh at me, but um, here, let me pull it up just a second. Oh, no, it's frozen. I'm getting too many Instagram updates. It, like, keeps... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, um, hold on. Let me pull it up here. What I'll do is I will have my outfits. I'll kind of make it use a photo grid app to take pictures of all my outfits. And I will be uploading these on Instagram as... Um, it comes up, but these are kind of my outfits that I'm wearing, some of my nighttime, some of my daytime, and you'll be seeing a lot of these very, very soon um, on Instagram as I wear them. But I like to do that also, whether I upload them on Instagram or not, just because I can see what I had planned, because I do take the time to plan all my outfits and see what jewelry and what shoes and everything. So I like to have that as a reference point. So this is my um, iPad that I keep in here, obviously, my wallet. Um, Let's see, I've got my planner from May Designs. I think maydesigns.com. They're really, really cute planners, and boy, I use it. I've got some pictures, some kiddos colored for me, but of course. Um, and then I've got my New Orleans guidebook that I love. And then the book I'm reading, which is The Great Gatsby. Um, I read it in high school, but I want to see the movie, but before I see it, I want to reread the novel because I am a bookworm. And I just got these um, bookmarks in the mail on Amazon. If you type in magnetic bookmarks, they're these really cool. They're magnetic, so, you, so your bookmark doesn't fall out because that is a huge problem for me, which that might sound silly, but it is. I'm also bringing a magazine, Glamour. Um, I've got like my medicines like lactase and uh, allergy medicine, things like that in there. Um, this is where I keep lipsticks um, that I kind of on the go. Um, I have another Sonia Kashuk one in blushing, which is like this pretty pink color. And then I also have MAC um, cream cup in there. So I love this little bag. It's also from Old Navy. I recently hauled. I just think it's so cute. Um, I'm trying to get, oh, I have my contacts case in there. I've already shown you. Oh, my iPad and iPhone charger. Both of the chargers are in there. In this little section, I have tissues because it is allergy season for me. And then um, a little pad of paper because I'm constantly writing things down, I feel like. Um, and then I think the last thing that I haven't shown you in here is my liquids bag. And it's a quart size bag. I bring along an extra, which I'll be packing just in case something happens or something explodes in this one. But in it, I did a lot of research to make sure I knew exactly. Of course, some nail polish. I just have the polish I'm wearing and then the top coat. And then I also have my face wash, some hairspray. Um, I guess I can go over it. So my favorite top coat, Revlon. This is Essie um, Mod Square, which is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. I have my face cream in here. Um, this is actually my face wash that I use every single day. Um, and it, my skin has co completely turned around from using this. So I have natural glow lotion um, put into this little container. I have the foundation that I'm bringing, which is the Wet n Wild Coverall. Uh, let's see, I've got some Neutrogena uh, sunblock in a travel size. Um, uh, some hairspray. This is Sebastian uh, Shaper Zero Gravity hairspray. I have some Urban Decay D Slick in a travel size little thing. And then I have two mascaras, the Rocket, and then one by one. These are both by Maybelline. The Rocket I wear every single day. It's like the bomb. But this is great for like midway through the day if I want to like reapply. It does that really well. Um, so liquid eyeliners I had to put in the bag. The Physicians Formula Eye Booster one. Um, I have my little... Um, I decanted my Miss Dior perfume into this Flow atomizer. I got one for my boyfriend Tyler as well. He loves it. You just put it, you literally spray it into this little contraption at the bottom, and then it's like a really safe to travel with little perfume thing. Um, and then my toothpaste, which is the Pro Enamel. I have really weak enamel, like legit. It's really bad. So that's what that's for. Um, eye drops, because like I said, it's allergy season. <laughs> um, 
lip gloss, the NYX. This is great for toning down, like, my nighttime lipstick that I'm bringing. Um, this is great for it. It's Sugar Pie by NYX. Um, this is another lip gloss I've been loving, the L'Oreal Caress ones. It's in Pink Perseverance. Those are the bomb. My, uh, since this is technically a liquid concealer, even though it's, like, coming out through a sponge, this is the Brightener shade from the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind that I absolutely adore. And then my eye primer is a stick one, but on the other side, it's a liner sealer, and it's uh, liquid. So I'm putting that in there. And then also my e.l.f. makeup remover pen. I swear I use this every single day. It's not really a liquid, but I figure better safe than sorry. So that is everything, and I think that's all my stuff. Now i got to repack all this junk. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and uh, I think I've uh, kind of really gotten used to traveling without having to check a bag, and it's kind of almost like a challenge, but I hope this was um, helpful for you guys. Mm -hmm.